Mommy, are you going to make a cake for my birthday? Eva, mommy don't have money. Mommy, I have time. I ask you to buy me something. You will tell me you don't have money. Mommy, I'm not happy. My friends had this. She did a bad in the school. And her mommy did a very big cake for her. Mommy, I want you to do my own birthday like that. Eva, go and tell your dad about this. Tell him to give you money for cake. I have told daddy. He said I know I have money. Eva, please don't disturb me. I want to sleep. Now leave here. Go. Charles, I want you to tell me how our wedding will look like because I'm already fantasizing that. This my baby is so funny. <laughs> it's alright. Since you wish to know, let me give you some insight into our proposed luxury wedding. Wow, go ahead please, I'm all ears. Baby, our wedding would be themed Gucci wedding. Wow, you mean everything will be Gucci? Yes, baby. It's gonna be Gucci with a little touch of massage. Our outfit will be Gucci from head to toe. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, baby, I'm feeling blushing already. Guess we will have our wedding reception. In a private jet? Um, not really in a private jet. But we're gonna use either a private jet or a luxury yacht to cruise around that very day. Wow, so where would the wedding take place? It's gonna be at Maldives Island. And we have our honeymoon in one of the best underwater hotels in that same Maldives. Don't worry, just chill, baby. Our wedding is gonna be one of a kind. What? Baby, you're kidding me! Wow, I'm speechless at this moment. Caleb, concerning your daughter's birthday I told you about, you haven't said anything about that. Charity, I don't have money for now. Why don't we celebrate her birthday next year? You know, I just finished paying their school fees last week. My pocket is in that dry for now. Caleb, just listen to yourself. So, because you paid your children's school fees, that's enough reason for you not to celebrate your daughter's birthday. Caleb, the way you are treating your kids, is that how your friends treat theirs too? Caleb, when will you start showing your family love for crying out loud? Charity, please, can I have peace this night? I had a long day at work today, and all I need is rest. Let me have a peaceful night's rest. You're indirectly saying I'm not giving you peace, isn't it? Charity, what is the meaning of all this? Is that what I just said? Oh, yes. Caleb, each time I'm complaining about your incompetence as the head of this house, all you end up saying is that I am not giving you peace. Caleb, if you think I am a thorn in your flesh, just tell me and I will take my children and leave. How can I be suffering for a man, yet he still sees me as a problem? Oh no, Caleb. In fact, I am tired of this marriage. Good night. Taliso, you don't give that babe assurance like this. Which can you hear assurance? It is not only assurance. I also give her insurance. <laughs> I am always asking you this question. Charlie, are you sure you will make heaven? Charlie, don't allow daughters of Delilah to cage you inside but war. Ta. They no born them way. They never reach. That lady is a gold digger. Imagine her telling me that she wants us to have our wedding inside the private jet. Me, we never ever enter play before. Private jet will kill her dear. Mm -hmm. Charlie, where you they jam all this Omo Highway? You better safeguard your pocket, oh. Anyway, for now, you are still a broke guy. She no go see she she collect. I just pity the poor senseless lady. Chai, Charlie. Guy, I beg, leave that stupid game at her. Let's talk about business. MD, there's this guy that wants to buy a car. I'm thinking we should sell that your savage car to him at a very cheap price. How much does he have? He said he needs a good salon car with a budget of 2 million. So, let's offer him that your car for 1.5. The guy go rush him. Hmm, Charlie, you know that my car has already turned into a condemned vehicle. Most of the parts are not good at all. 
Oh boy, we go just carry and go mechanic, go pin them. Fix the gear and the brake. Then say to this guy, sharp, sharp, and collect our money. Guy, if you no need money, I seriously need that move. No do yourself. Hmm. Make person picky not enter the car. Can't get accident, die. If he die, that's what no concern us. Grant plenty, then go bury him. Ah, Charlie, will you make heaven like this? Charity, anything you have, just try to organize a small birthday party for her. Even if it is just a family party, I guess she hasn't celebrated her birthday before. Yes, since I gave birth to her, we haven't done any birthday party for her. Oh, the poor girl would really be happy if she gets the privilege. Is this not her father's responsibility? How can he say he doesn't even have money to get his daughter? Come on, cake. Charity, please, if you can afford the cake, just get it for her, just to make her happy. Mind you, Eva is also your daughter. Therefore, making her happy is also your responsibility. No problem. I have already decided that I would throw a small party to mark her birthday this year. I already planned to cook and take some gifts to her school. I don't have money for soft drinks. I will just make Zobo drink for adults in her school and then buy mini fruit juice for her classmates. Wow, that would be great. The money I'm about to spend on this is the money I wanted to send for my sick mother at the village. I will end up sending her half of the money and use the rest to buy things for Eva's birthday party. What will I do? I can't fight fit because of the condition it has kept me in. It is well. It is well, my sister. God will surely replenish your pockets, okay? I mean, no. Uh, thanks, dear. Young lady. Who do you say you are looking for? I am looking for Mr. MD. You are looking for MD? Please, who are you to him? I am his babe. You are his babe? I don't understand. Which kind of babe are you talking about? I am his side chick. We regularly hook up. Hmm. You are his side chick? Fascinating. Please, who are you? Okay. I am his main hen. Main hen? What does that supposed to mean? Meaning that I am his legally married wife. Such as much because you look ugly just the way he described you. I beg your pardon, young lady. Did you come to my house to insult me? Which one is your house? The one I'm about to take over? You want to take over my house? With what position? A side chick? Now, listen to this, ho. Huh? Glad you already know that you are a side chick. For your information, I alone still remain the one and only wife of Emily. After messing up with you as a side chick, your position will always remain by the side. He is definitely not bringing you into this house. You will keep remaining by the side. I, Dakas, remains the mother hen and the certified wife of Emily. Now, Get out of my house.